Hello, Brian. How are you? Good, good. Thanks, Rama. I'm very, very good. How are you? Good, good, good. Congratulations on Expats uh, Prime Video. You play Clark, the husband of Nicole Kidman's, Kidman's character. That episode where you guys were waiting at the morgue was so emotionally powerful. Those scenes were amazing. Brother, what was it like working with uh, Oscar winner Nicole Kidman, specifically going toe-to-toe with Nicole on that particularly emotionally raw episode? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I think it was uh, a blessing and a gift and and something that I think as every artist dreams about, right? The she brings such a standard and an elevation to the craft for decades. And I think any actor starting out wants to somehow navigate their career towards that particular kind of mountaintop or that elevation. So to be on set with her was kind of this kind of pivotal roadmap into my journey. And what she brings to the table is that elevation, right? So I know that I elevated my craft just purely because of her presence. But then when we really got down to it, it was such an incredible experience because, you know, I think the the characters were on such an even playing field, right? Experiencing the same thing, especially with those morgue seats, scenes at the same time that it kind of, uh, we, we get to go toe to toe in that sense. And it really kind of, um, kind of even the playing field on such an elevated level that I've never been able to experience before. Now, Hong Kong is on my bucket list. I've never been there. And oh. having worked there yourself, uh, what advice would you give me where to, uh, if I were to visit Hong Kong? What places should I look up? What restaurants should I visit? Uh, <laughs> go everywhere. I think Hong Kong is so incredibly dynamic. I think it's fun and inviting. The food is amazing. The people are spectacular. There's so many places that even as for as long as we were there that I couldn't go and explore and see. So I would just say my biggest advice is however long you're going to Hong Kong for, stay longer (laughs) because you can't experience everything and everything is so vibrant, new and exciting, especially if you haven't been there. And it was my first time there too. So I really just try to soak it in as much as I can. Um, What I also loved is, is when I landed, I really took a lot of time to connect with the children that are in this show, both Tiana, Bodhi, and Connor. So I would experience Hong Kong through their eyes, which is a whole different world and a whole different universe. And me as a dad that I enjoyed more. And on top of just, you know, the personal enjoyment of it, I think the character fulfillment of it, right? For all of us to really connect will definitely show and hopefully showed on screen. Uh, I'm Asian American, but I grew up in Asia. I can connect with uh, when Nicole Skacker said, you know, back in America, I'm a career woman, but here I'm a mother and wife, or like Sarah used character's mother pressuring her to have kids. Do you think that we as Asian culture uh, still need to become more progressive when it comes to gender expectations? Or do you think that it's more of a generational gap between what our parents want versus what we want? I mean, I don't think it's one thing. I think it's both. I think it's generational. I think it's cultural. I think it's like, you know, we all say we are not a monolith. And I think every culture is very different in their own sensibilities as far as um, patriarchy. And, you know, and in that sense, I think there is for every culture, for anything outside of Asian America, this sense of evolution, right? We do need to involve, we need to create equality, right? As far as men and women, but I think across all cultures in that sense, I think it's like a universal theme, not just an Asian American one. Um, Do we need to do more? Absolutely, a hundred thousand percent. And again, not just within our cultures, but I think in all cultures, I think setting that particular standard of equality is something we all definitely want and strive for, especially for myself. So I'm not only speaking as an Asian American perspective, but I think I would just speak from a universal humanity perspective. Brian, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.